domestic violence in Trinidad and Tobago needs to stop. Did you know that as many as six women were murdered in domestic violence incidents in Trinidad and Tobago within the first two months of 2020? Hi, I am Brittany Williams and I take a stand against domestic violence. Violence against women may not be a hot trending topic but it is still an important one. That is why I have decided to host a show where you get to see real people tell the real story of their personal encounter with domestic violence. Over the course of these interviews, we will be given multiple women who wish to share their experience a platform, not only to encourage, but to tell you that you are not alone. We see you, we hear you, we care for you. Welcome to Virginary Production of Trinidad and Tobago. My name is Brittany Williams. I am the host of Empowering Women. Today I have a special program. I would like to welcome my guest, Ms. Diana Benskin, Global Ambassador, Diva of Color, Award winning, Poet and Author of Trinidad and Tobago. I would like to welcome Ms. Diana Benskin on Visionary Production, Empowering Women Platform. Ms. Diana, welcome to our program. Greetings. My name is Diana Benskin. My poetic mentor, Maya Angelou said, each time a woman stands up for herself, without knowing it, possibly without claiming it, she stands up for all women. As I said before, I am Diana Benskin. I am of Trinbejgonian descent. I am an award-winning poet, author, and motivational speaker. And I'm here today to sow the seeds of motivation to my sisters who may be in need of an uplifting word. I have emerged from extremely challenging circumstances that have prepared me for the ministry I have embarked upon. I am here to stand up for all women and children who may be enduring the ugliness of domestic violence. Right now, at this very instant, a silent war across the world is being waged, a violation of humanity a crime that is least prosecuted, and a great threat endangering the lives of thousands of women and children daily. Of course, I am talking about the harsh reality of domestic violence. We live in a time where domestic violence is kept a taboo subject, a shameful secret that shouldn't be let out. We know it's happening and even hear or see the events, but who's taking action? We know that violence in the home doesn't just impact individuals and families. Violence against women can cause long-term effects. These effects include harm to an individual's health, possibly to children, and harm to communities such as lost work and homelessness. It devastates entire communities because it is a precursor to so many other forms of violence. When children witness or experience violence in the home, it affects how children feel, how they act, and how they learn. I know I am a victim of domestic violence in the home. Without intervention, children are at a higher risk for school failure, substance abuse, repeat of victimization, and perhaps most tragically, perpetrating violence later on in their lives. The girls have long been discriminated against by society and made to believe that they are inferior or less than boys. Studies conducted by the United Nations on different traditional practices have found that, boy, that the boy child is still viewed as better or more capable than the girl child in many countries. Violence against women is a global public health problem that has ballooned since COVID-19. It is increasingly recognized as a public health issue. 
For the first time, global prevalence estimates have been calculated based on all existing data from population-based studies showing that worldwide, 35% of women have experienced either intimate partner violence, physical and or sexual violence by an intimate partner, or non-partner sexual violence or both in their lifetime. Multi-sectoral efforts are needed to combat this deep-rooted problem. Violence at home can take the form of one or more traumatic incidents, triggering a sudden change. Change can be sudden, or change can be gradual, or change can occur slowly in reaction to the daily dynamics of the abusive relationship. Children are changed by growing up with violence and abuse at home. Little eyes and little ears don't miss much, soaking in sights and sounds. Child witnesses of violence and abuses are overwhelmed by intense feelings and concentrate hard on their own thoughts. I know. They may feel confused and scared and blame themselves as they watch or listen and guess what caused the fight and imagine what might happen next and anticipate potential consequences. I know. A child who lives with violence is forever change, but not forever damage. I know. There's a lot we can do to make tomorrow better. Women are taught to look for early signs of breast cancer and take steps for prevention and treatment. Women diagnosed with breast cancer are told it is not necessary a death sentence and with proper treatment, life can go on. We encourage women to look for signs of domestic violence and take steps to prevention and protection. We need to convince women who are victims of domestic violence that with proper advocacy and intervention, life can go on for them as well. The telltale signs of an abuser are as follows, playing mind games with you making all decisions, causing you to feel guilty, inadequate, and undesirable, inflicting bodily or emotional harm, separating and isolating you from your family and your friends, taking charge of your daily life, preventing you from working, handling all your money matters, threatening violence, suicide, or murder, showing you weapons, talking you into doing things that you normally would not consider, and determining where you can go and who you can see. If you are in a relationship with someone who does not honor or respect you, I want you to know that you are worthy of love and to please reach out for help. Please know that you can get out and it will not be e always an easy road. It will not be, it will be lonely at times, but it only gets better. Life is too beautiful to live it trapped and abused and hiding under the shame of it all. Your current situation is not your final destination. Your voice will save you. Let it extend into the night. Let it part the darkness. Let it set you free to know that you are truly valuable, beautiful, and loved. Many, many of you have an inner source of determination. In that space, there is where the warrior within you reside. Put on your best armor and be prepared to change the outcome of your game. Embrace the wings of belief in, your, in yourself. They will take you to the high place. Believe in yourself and all that you are. Know that there is something inside you that is greater than any obstacle. You are not what happened to you. Only an insecure man will belittle a woman. Know that the wounds are sources that you can grow from and that you have a choice to choose what you want to become. I want to let you know that standing up for yourself doesn't make you argumentative. Sharing your feelings does not, does not mean that you're overly sensitive and saying no does not mean that you're uncaring or selfish. If someone won't respect your feelings, needs and boundaries, the problem is not you, it's them. No longer should you accept the things you cannot change. Instead, seek to change the things you will no longer accept. Trust in God. 
He is a faith builder, a hope supplier, a future planner, a soul healer. And if your partner is not treating you right today, he won't be any better tomorrow. Finally, I want you to remember that your story could be the key that unlocks someone else's prison. Don't ever be afraid to share it. And your local police authority now has a domestic violence unit to specifically respond to the crime. Do not hesitate to reach out to them. I want to leave you with a poem that I wrote. It is called Domestic Violence. It started with a beautiful hello and into a whirlwind romance it would grow. You promised to have and to hold, to forsake all others till we grow old. You used to be so happy. Nowadays you're always so grumpy. You have changed and I don't know why. Lately all you do is make me cry. There was a time when you come home and I'd be so glad. Now when you walk through the door, you slam it so hard. I think to myself, things are going to be bad. And what could I have done to make you so mad? I brace myself for the brunt of your fury. Thump! Pow! And now my face is bloody. You sit with a smile because you are happy. Pour yourself that daily drink. All the, wise, all the while complaining, why is this house so stink? Loudly you rant, where's my food, you lazy good for nothing? Pounding the table, that delicious it better be tasting. Pour yourself a drink again and again. Under its influence on me, you will inflict pain. Throw the empty plate to the floor. Clean up that mess. What are you waiting for? I am afraid of this monster that you become. Silent thoughts I conjure up to run. Suicide and it will all be done. In a drunken state you retreat to the bed with your slurred speech. With your slurred speech shouting, get over here, rub my blasted head. I cringe at the touch of your hand that just bloodied my face. Yes, the same one. I try my best to keep keep up the charade, nursing my wounds until the scars have fade. If you choose to remain silent about your suffering, then no one will hear when for help you are calling. If you choose to refuse and not report the abuse, then there's no chance, there's a chance your life you may lose. If you choose about the abuse not to speak, then justice for you we cannot seek. As a neighbor, and you choose to cast a blind eye, when from the pain inflicted on her she loudly cries, then the blame you will shoulder when she eventually dies. There is no life with domestic violence, and it's only compounded by your silence. You don't want to be a victim like these other women, whose lives were cut short because of a vicious killing, died because they were guilty of loving, and with an abusive partner continued residing. Do not create conditions for this cancer to thrive. Be proactive and choose to stay alive. If he hurts you once, causing you pain, pack and leave him. Do not, with him, do not remain. I guarantee he will do it again and again. What started with a beautiful hello now horribly ends with a mournful sorrow. I am Diana Benskin. I want to thank you for your gracious forbearance and attentiveness. Peace. Choose to stay alive. Thank you. If you wish to be a part of this movement, simply contact the number below, which is 739-9300. Anonymous, if you wish to.